Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're featuring the brand Isotope again. Now, they are a small brand, small UK micro brand, and they do some very interesting watches. This one we have here is part of a Hydro range, but this is called the Hydro Pro Norblau. Now, really sorry if I'm getting that wrong, it is a family name. It belongs to a lady called Joanna, and she is um, the world record holder for swimming under ice. She's absolutely mad, but she is finished, so they do some crazy things up there, and obviously this is one of them. She has the record, I think, for a female of 103 meters, holding her breath for almost three minutes underwater while swimming with the use of no aids. Now, I know more people can probably hold their breath for longer, but you try doing that in sub-zero conditions, and yeah, most people just die of hypothermia, but she's crazy. So that's who they kind of name the watch after, and I believe she sponsors the watch as well. So let's talk sizes. The case size of this watch is 40 millimeters. The thickness of the watch, now, I'm going to say 14.9, but don't be put off by that because two millimeters of that is that protruding sapphire crystal. So it's not actually as thick as what you would believe. So anyway, the look to look is 49 mil, sorry, not 49, 48 millimeters, sorry. And the strap size is 22 mil. Now, one thing with isotope watches, they tend to do limited runs on everything they do. So this, there is only 100 of these models available if you're interested, it's one of these where you need to get in touch sooner rather than later. I believe the price of this one is £1,080. A little bit more expensive than the other one, but it's got a, you know different features. So anyway, zoom in on that dial. The dial is a little bit more conservative to the last one I reviewed, but still rather cool as well with this kind of baby blue, um, again, isotope style logo going on on that second hand. The minute and hour hands are a little bit more simpler, but they're full of loom. This watch has got a really good loom, including the bezel, really does light up. I think this watch looks really, really nice. I've always been a fan of a 12369 um, layout of a dial, and I like this one. You've got a, a little bit more of a, a, a better defined minute track going on there with smaller divisions. Yeah, I think it really does look a nice dial. Now, as I've said, the crystal is a beast on this watch. It's double domed, it has AR coating, and it really is, a you know, it really does a great job of magnifying those hands. Now, as we come past this, we the bezel has got these kind of serrations going on on top there, which makes gripping the bezel actually quite easy. Now, it is a 120 click bezel. Let's have a listen to it. Quite nice, quite satisfying. There's a little bit of back play, but honestly, it feels really solid and nice. Let's put that air and it lines up perfectly. Now, the eagle eye of you might have noticed we have another isotope um, logo going on there. And this actual bezel here, it is a sapphire insert. So that's one of the reasons I think it is more expensive for things like that. Now, all the markings in the vet are fully loomed, so it really, it's a cracking looking watch. Um, as we come around the side, we have again, I don't know if you, could you say that sort of a logo going on, where it dips in, could be wrong, but bead blasted finish, so it's very, you know, kind of looks very durable. It has a bit of heft to it as well. We have the logo going on there, and it is a screw down crown, because this after all is a 300 meter diver. There's quite, you can see, quite severe knurling on that, but it feels good. Let's put the crown back in. I would say um, the crown, when I screwed it in, same on the last one, it's not the smoothest to, um, you know, it doesn't always go in first time. That's the only downside, I would say, and that is so, you know, tiny. As we come round to the back, we have the, what looks like a 2824, but it's actually a Landron movement which is a swiss movement with 25 joules and 40 hours of power reserve now basically what you're seeing is a you know a copy of a 2824 lots of nice uh decoration going on they do say that the in their specs that the movement is kind of a 
I think it's plus or minus 12 seconds is specs, but this one is about six seconds a day. And again, we have their logos going on there. So let's put it on my wrist and see how it looks. Quick wrist check first. I'm wearing a Rolex uh, OP39, great red. Um, Mr. Bob, what do we have? Yeah, you guessed it. It's the other isotope. That's absolutely bonkers, that one. I think it is superb. So anyway, my wrist size is seven and a quarter inches. So it gives you an idea how it looks. There we go, one second. And that's it there. I think this looks quite cool. Um, color wise on this, I think it is a really quite a cool looking watch. It just seems to work. You've got this kind of, is it, I, you know, it, it's, a, it's kind of black or very, very dark gray the way it looks on these lights. And it just looks a bit more classical with these kind of um, bead blast finish. But I love the fact that that second hand just looks so prominent. And I wonder if that's anything to do partly with the design of the diving um, side of this. But I really do think that is a cracking looking watch. I I say, I always like when you've got a small brand, um, I just, you know, who are being a bit different. They're not just, you know, copying other brands. They are doing their own thing, and I always, you know, applaud when uh, companies do that. So fingers crossed, all. I really hope they do well. So anyway, all the best, guys, and most importantly, stay safe out there. Bye.